Hello everybody, Joel Heitkamp from News and Views, going another mile with you here at KFGO.com. Just came off my western swing where I really got a chance to see firsthand what the oil industry is all about and what's happening. Somebody best described it. In fact, it was Steve Slocum that did uh, from Williston when he said, tell the folks in the Red River Valley what it feels like out here is sugar beet harvest 24-7. And that's the truth. That's how many trucks there are. That's how much traffic there is. That's how intense it is. You know how we go through beet harvest here in the east, and we kind of look at that time as well. It'll be over soon. For those folks, it's not going to be over, and it's not going to be over anytime soon. They become the cash register for the state of North Dakota, helping us with projects we have uh, similar to the Fargo-Moorhead flood diversion. That's a perfect example of how west is helping east. We did that tour just for that reason, to show that we're all in it together, make sure they know that we in the East know what they're going through. Uh, very educational, very informative, and I got to tell you, great, great people. Just like people all over the upper Midwest. I don't care if you're from Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana. You know, people are people, and they couldn't have been more friendly and more nice. When you stay in Noonan, and you're staying in an old nursing home, and that's your hotel, you know they're converting everything back into how it can make a buck or two. We'll talk about some of that on Monday. On Monday, we'll talk about some of the other issues of the day. Will they get this budget compromise done over the weekend? Cross your fingers. Let's hope. Let's hope that this democracy that we all take part in still works. Until then, it's been good riding with you, and thanks for going another mile.